Hello everybody. Today I will speak about fractures general principles. The definition. A fracture is a loss of continuity in the substance of bone due to a trauma. The condition is that the external force should exceed the bone mechanical resistance. The mechanism in which fractures can occur can be direct or indirect. The direct can be due to a direct impact example car bumpers, bullets, or an indirect mechanism such as a torsion, bending, which is flexion, traction, avulsion, and number four, a compression of the spine or calcaneus bone. Fragment displacements can be in the form of angulation, rotation, overlapping, and translation due to trauma, muscle contraction, or gravitation. There are more than one classification for fractures. We'll start with the classification according to soft tissue envelope status. Fractures can be closed or open fractures. According to the location of the fractures, these fractures can be diaphyseal fractures, metaphyseal fractures, or epiphyseal fractures, which can be extra or intra-articular. As for the classification in terms of the fracture line, they can be simple or complex. Simple can be transverse fractures, oblique fractures, spiral fractures. As for the complex fractures, there can be wedge fragments, comminuted fractions which are more than three fragments and segmental burst irregular fractures. Furthermore, the classification according to the structure of the fractured bone. The structure of the fractured bone can be normal bone or pathologic bone. For the normal bone, violent trauma or mild repetitive trauma. As for the pathologic bone, a minimal trauma. The clinical presentation. There are signs of probability for the fracture or signs of certainty. Signs of probability include localized pain, swelling, regional deformation, functional impairment, and late ecchymosis. As for signs of certainty, loss of bony continuity, abnormal mobility, crepitations, and lack of motion transmission. We'll speak about the complications of fractures and we'll divide them based on time and based on area. Based on time, immediate, which is within minutes to hours, early complications, which are from hours to days, and late complications, which are from weeks to month. As for complications based on the area, they can be local or generalized. We'll start with the immediate local complications. These include number one, neurovascular injuries. The investigations for this neurovascular injuries include ultrasound and angiography. As for the treatment, after the fracture, stabilization, use suture. Furthermore, the neurovascular injuries, the mechanisms for this include contusions, elongation, and compression. The different types of neurovascular injuries include neuropraxis, axonotemesis, and neurotemesis. The second immediate local complication is open fractures. The third one is visceral injuries, and the fourth one is soft tissue interposition. Fifth one, hypovolemic traumatic shock. The sixth one, fat embolism. Now we'll speak about the early local complications. Number one, soft tissue contusions, ischemia, which is skin and subcutaneous tissue, blisters, necrosis, swelling. Number two, infection. How can you diagnose this infection? Clinically based, biochemical based, and bacteriological based. The treatment for the infection is surgical, your early excision and deprivement and antibiotherapy. Thank you for watching and looking forward to see you in the next video with a new topic.